Medical Disclaimer This video is a general health document for adults 18 years of age or older. Its purpose is strictly educational. It does not constitute medical advice. Please consult a physician or health care professional before beginning any exercise, diet, or supplement program, or if you have any questions about your health. This video is based on scientific studies, but individual results will vary. If you engage in any activity or take any product mentioned herein, you do so of your own free will and you knowingly and voluntarily accept the risks. While we mention the most important known interactions, it is possible for any supplement to interact with other supplements, with food and drugs, and with certain health conditions. Welcome back to our channel where today we will be discussing one of the most popular supplements today, omega-3 fatty acids. What is it? How does it work? What are the benefits and what are the risks of taking it? You will find out, so stay tuned. Omega-3 fatty acids are essential polyunsaturated fats that the body cannot produce and must be obtained through diet or supplementation. They play a critical role in maintaining cellular health, reducing inflammation, and supporting cardiovascular, neurological, and metabolic functions. Short Summary Omega-3 fatty acids are essential for overall health and are divided into three main types. Alpha-linolenic acid, ALA, icosapentaenoic acid, EPA, and docosahexanoic ALA is found in plant foods, while EPA and DHA are primarily found in marine life. These fats contribute to heart health, brain function, and inflammation reduction, but may carry risks if consumed in excess or as supplements. Types of Omega-3 Fatty Acids Alpha-linolenic acid, ALA, found in plant oils such as flaxseed, chia seeds, walnuts, and hemp seed. It is a short-chain, 18-carbon, omega-3 fatty acid can be converted to EPA and DHA, but the conversion rate is low. Icosapentaenoic acid, EPA, found in cold water fatty fish such as salmon, mackerel, and sardines. It is a long chain, 20 carbons, omega-3 fatty acid that plays a role in anti-inflammatory processes and cardiovascular health. Docosahexanoic acid, DHA, found in fish oils and algae. It is a long-chain omega-3 fatty acid, 22 carbons, that is essential for brain development, retinal function, and cell membrane integrity. Main Benefits For cardiovascular health, omega-3 fatty acids help manage cholesterol and lower triglycerides. Omega-3s aid in blood vessel dilation, improving blood flow and lowering blood pressure. Reduces the risk of heart attack and stroke. Reduces the risk of arrhythmias and atherosclerosis. Evidence suggests dietary sources are more effective than supplements for preventing cardiovascular diseases. Neurological support. DHA helps support brain development and cognitive function. It may also reduce symptoms of depression and anxiety, especially EPA. Omega-3 fatty acids may improve cognitive decline and reduce the risk of dementia. Vision protection. DHA is crucial for retinal health and may protect against age-related vision loss. Anti-inflammatory effects. EPA-derived compounds help manage chronic inflammation. May be beneficial in conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis and asthma. Some evidence suggests that omega-3 fatty acids may play a protective role in cancer and autoimmune diseases such as lupus and eczema. Maternal and infant health. DHA supports fetal brain development during pregnancy and early childhood, 
it is essential for fetal brain and eye development and supports cognitive development in infants. Metabolic health may improve insulin sensitivity and help with weight management by reducing fat accumulation. Omega-3s may improve blood sugar levels and reduce waist circumference. Main drawbacks. High doses may cause gastrointestinal discomfort, e.g., nausea, bloating, stomach upset or diarrhea. Some individuals may also experience a fishy aftertaste or burps. Bleeding risk. High doses can thin the blood, increasing bleeding risk, especially when combined with anticoagulants like warfarin. Low blood pressure, hypotension, while omega-3 fatty acids generally help lower blood pressure, excessive consumption can lead to dangerously low blood pressure, causing symptoms such as dizziness, faint. Immunosuppression. High doses of omega-3 fatty acids can suppress the immune system making it harder for the body to fight infections. Vitamin toxicity. Some fish oil supplements contain vitamins A and D overconsumption can lead to toxicity, causing symptoms such as nausea, dizziness, and liver damage from vitamin A. And high calcium levels from vitamin D. Cardiovascular risks. Recent studies suggest that high doses of fish oil supplements may increase the risk of atrial fibrillation and stroke in some people. Contamination risks. Fish oil supplements may contain heavy metals such as mercury or other toxins that can be harmful if consumed in large amounts unless properly purified. Uncertain benefits of supplements. The evidence on the effectiveness of omega-3 supplements compared with dietary sources is inconclusive. It is important to consult a healthcare provider before taking high doses of omega-3 supplements to reduce these risks. How does omega-3 work? Omega-3s are incorporated into cell membranes as phospholipids, improving membrane fluidity and function. They are also precursors of signaling molecules called eicosanoids, e.g., resolvins and protectins, that regulate inflammation, immune response, and cardiovascular health. EPA reduces pro-inflammatory eicosanoids derived from six fatty acids, while DHA is essential for brain and retinal cell integrity. How do omega-3 fatty acids help in reducing inflammation? Omega-3 fatty acids reduce inflammation through several mechanisms. Production of specialized pro-resolving mediators, SPMs. Omega-3 fatty acids, particularly EPA and DHA, are metabolized into SPMs such as resolvins, protectins, and maresins. These molecules actively resolve inflammation by regulating white blood cells and reducing inflammatory responses in blood vessels. Studies have shown that fish oil supplementation increases SPM levels in a time and dose dependent manner, enhancing their anti inflammatory effects. Modulation of eicosanoid production. Omega-3 fatty acids compete with omega-6 fatty acids for enzymes that produce eicosanoids. Omega-3-derived eicosanoids, e.g., prostaglandins and leukotrienes, are less pro-inflammatory than those derived from OMEGA6 fatty acids, thereby reducing overall inflammation. Reduction of pro-inflammatory cytokines Omega-3 fatty acids lower the production of cytokines like interleukin-1 and tumor necrosis factor alpha, which are key drivers of chronic inflammation in conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis and inflammatory bowel diseases. Effects on cellular signaling Omega-3 fatty acids influence intracellular signaling pathways and transcription factors, 
such as nuclear factor kappa B, that regulate genes involved in the inflammatory response. Immune system modulation. Omega-3 fatty acids enhance the function of macrophages to remove cellular debris and promote tissue repair, while reducing the activation of inflammatory immune cells. These mechanisms make omega-3 fatty acids beneficial in the treatment of inflammatory and autoimmune diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis, Crohn's disease and lupus and in the reduction of systemic inflammation associated with cardiovascular and metabolic diseases. Other names for omega-3. Polyunsaturated fatty acids, PUFAs. Essential fatty acids. N3 fatty acids. Dosage information. The American Heart Association recommends at least two servings of fatty fish per week, approximately 500 mg EPA, DHA daily. For those with high triglycerides or certain medical conditions, higher doses, up to 4 grams per day, may be prescribed under medical supervision. How much omega-3 do I need? For the general population, 250 to 500 mg of combined EPA, DHA per day is recommended. For pregnant or lactating women, at least 200 mg of DHA daily. Individuals with heart disease, up to 1 gram per day of EPA, DHA under medical supervision. What is the best form of omega-3? Natural sources, Fatty fish such as salmon and mackerel provide highly bioavailable EPA, DHA. Supplements. Fish oil is common, but should be purified to avoid contaminants. Algae oil is a vegetarian-friendly alternative for DHA. Main dietary sources of omega-3. Marine sources such as fatty fish, salmon, mackerel, sardines, herring, and shellfish, crab, mussels, oysters. Plant sources such as flaxseed, chia seeds, walnuts, and oils such as flaxseed oil, canola oil, soybean oil, rich in ala. Fortified foods, omega-3 enriched eggs and dairy products. What are the differences between ALA, EPA, and DHA. The key differences between alpha-linolenic acid, ALA, icosapentaenoic acid, EPA, and docosahexanoic acid, DHA, lie in their sources, structure, biological. In brief, ALA is primarily found in plants and serves as a precursor to EPA and DHA but has limited direct effects due to poor conversion rates. EPA is known for its anti-inflammatory properties and cardiovascular benefits. DHA is critical for brain and eye health and is the most abundant omega-3 in the brain and retina. Can omega-3s interact with other supplements or medications? Yes. Omega-3 fatty acids may interact with various supplements and medications. These interactions can alter the effects of both the omega-3 fatty acids and the other substances, potentially leading to adverse effects. The most important interactions are listed below. Anticoagulants and antiplatelet drugs. Omega-3 fatty acids can thin the blood and may increase the risk of bleeding when taken with blood-thinning medications such as warfarin, aspirin, clopidogrel, or direct oral anticoagulants, DOAC. Antihypertensive medications. Omega-3 fatty acids help lower blood pressure. When taken with antihypertensive drugs, e.g., amlodipine, lisinopril, they can cause blood pressure to drop too low, resulting in hypotension. Diabetes medications. 
Omega-3 fatty acids may increase fasting blood glucose levels in some people. This may interfere with diabetes medications such as insulin or metformin and may require dose adjustments. Orlistat, weight loss drug. Orlistat can reduce the absorption of omega-3 fatty acids when taken together. To avoid this, omega-3 supplements should be taken at least two hours apart from Orlistat. Immunosuppressants, e.g., cyclosporine, tacrolimus. Omega-3s can increase the levels of these drugs in the body, potentially increasing their effectiveness and side effects. Cancer medications, platinum agents. Certain fatty acids in fish oil may reduce the effectiveness of platinum-based chemotherapy drugs, although this is generally not a concern with typical doses of fish oil. Birth control pills. Birth control pills may reduce the triglyceride-lowering effects of omega-3 supplements. Supplements that interact with omega-3 fatty acids. Vitamin E. Omega-3 fatty acids may lower vitamin E levels in the body over time, because vitamin E is used to prevent oxidation of omega-3 fatty acids. Other blood thinning supplements. Supplements like turmeric, garlic, ginkgo biloba, and vitamin E also have blood thinning properties. When combined with omega-3s, they may further increase bleeding risk. Precautions for specific conditions. Bleeding disorders. People with bleeding disorders or those prone to bruising should use omega-3 supplements cautiously due to their blood thinning effects. Seafood allergies. Individuals allergic to seafood should avoid fish oil supplements unless cleared by a doctor, as their safety in such cases remains uncertain. To minimize risks, it is important for individuals taking medications or other supplements to consult with a healthcare provider before starting omega-3 supplementation. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this information about omega-3 fatty acids. Please strengthen our immunity with a like and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next parts.